Ruth, Ruth, too. And Naomi had a kinsman of her man's, a mighty man of wealth of the family of Elimelech. And his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moavi said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of grain after him in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the reapers, and her hap was to light on a part of the field belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. And behold, Boaz came from Beit Lechem and said unto the reapers, Yahuwah be with you. And they answered him, Yahuwah bless you. Then said Boaz unto his servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Moavish damsel that came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and has continued even from the morning until now that she tarried a little in the house. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, Hear you not, my daughter? Go not to glean in another field. Neither go from hence, but abide here fast by my maidens. Let your eyes be on the field that they do reap, and go you after them. Have I not charged, eth the young men, that they shall not touch you? And when you are athirst, go unto the vessels, and drink of that which the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face, and bowed herself to the ground, and said unto him, Why have I found grace in your eyes, that you should take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger? And Boaz answered and said unto her, It has fully been showed me all that you have done unto Eth your mother-in-law since the death of your man, and how you have left your father and your mother and the land of your nativity and are come unto a people which you knew not heretofore. Yahuwah, recompense your work and a full reward be given you of Yahuwah Elohai, of Yah El under whose wings you are come to trust. Then she said, Let me find favor in your sight, my Lord, for that you have comforted me, and for that you have spoken friendly unto your handmaid, though I be not like unto one of your handmaidens. And Boaz said unto her, At mealtime come hither, and eat of the bread, and dip your morsel in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers, and he reached her parched grain, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. And when she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded at his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not, and let fall also some of the handfuls on, of purpose for her, and leave them, that she may glean them, and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field until evening, and beat out eth that she had gleaned, and it was about an ephah of barley. And she took it up and went into the city, and her mother-in-law saw eth what she had gleaned, and she brought forth and gave to her eth that she had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother-in-law said unto her, Where have you gleaned today? And where wrought you? Blessed be he that did take knowledge of you. And she showed her mother-in-law, Eth, with whom she had wrought, and said, The man's name with whom I wrought today is Boaz. And Naomi said unto her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of Yahuwah, who has not left off his kindness, Eth, to the living, and Eth, to the dead. And Naomi said unto her, the man is near of kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. And Ruth the Moavi said, He said unto me also, You shall keep fast by my young men 
until they have ended at all my harvest. And Naomi said unto Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that you go out with his maidens, that they meet you not in any other field. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of barley harvest and of wheat harvest, and dwelt eth with her mother-in-law,